So here All I am. right then. Now I know I said we were going to do York Rim and all that, but I remember that I had Is another. That so? I have another silly build in mind that I wanted to try out. So now that we're not doing the dual wielding shields thing. The other thing I wanted to try on out is this thing here. I have never done a one-handed weapon with the other hand empty build, uh, the right on target, which gives you all weaponry skills gain extra accuracy, fumble, and crit chance. Then if we are only using a one-handed weapon while the second weapon slot is empty, we get weapon damage, hand efficiency, armor penetration, accuracy, fumble chance, and skills lowered skills and energy costs. Okay. And main hand efficiency increases with the character's level. So the higher level we are, the better we get at the fencing thing. And I think you would do it with swords, right? So... I'm not sure if swords are necessarily the best, but whatever. The only thing is we can't get that at level 1. No. So we will get... Seize the initiative and then attempt to get there. Oh. Did I grab the ring? Yes. So for, to begin the, the run, we would have to use the shield here in order to not penalize ourselves. But we want to beeline. We want a bean line to Manshire where we can get uh, the treatise for combat mastery two and then buy that as early as possible. Which means we should get the, the contract again. We can get the bad belt, but whatever, sure. And the leather gloves, yes. Joined quite for the fresh run. All right, so the, the build is that we are going to try to get to this right on target thing, which means that we want to use a one-handed weapon and have the other hand empty as like a fencing thing right? I've never done that before, so that'll be what we're attempting to do with this build. Until I change my mind. And I think, I think swords are best for that. Oh, I never knew. You can see here what the crit effect is on the various weapons. So when you crit with a sword, there's a 50% bleed chance. Access its body part damage. Crit effect days chance. Okay, for maces. Access body part. Dagger says crit efficiency and burn 10% of the target's maximum energy, but no more than 20 energy. Okay, whatever. Two-handed swords. Cleave through three tiles and extra bleed chance. Cleave through three tiles. Body part for access and days for Mesa's spear is immobilization chance, we knew that. Crit with crossbows is knockback, and crit with bows is immobilization chance. Okay. Nothing for shields. Okay, poor shields. Uh, and crit efficiency here, cleave, and replenish maximum energy when you crit with a staff. I didn't know that. Huh. That makes it extra good for a wizard, of course. This time for real. I, I didn't think Jorgrim could die from that trap. The hubris. We're gonna go in. 
and stash this acrimony before we leave town. So it doesn't take up space in the inventory when we come back home. There's a smoke bomb here. Very cool. We're going to steal from the town when it turns to nightfall. Turns not when, when night comes and we're in town. Uh, did I forget anything? I think we're good. Oh, and a spearmint. I could go and stash that in the town since we're right next to it, but now I don't wanna. At a time. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Going back to the town to stash these herbs. We're so close. And then we can carry more loot back from the dungeon. It's rare that I have 108 gold when I leave the town, so I'm, I am wondering if I'm like forgetting something here, but I don't think so. We had two lockpicks and I bought the medical supplies. Yeah. There's spearmen everywhere. Everywhere. We just need a... What is it? The the healing one. And then we have the herbalist's quests already. Reward was the thing. No way. Oh, we lived. <laughs> Not lucky today. That's a hefty cup you got there. Oh, this is my spaceship space travel mug. It has like a little rocket taking off as the handle. And then, well, it's space themed. I like funny mugs, you know. I am. I wouldn't say if I have a collection because I don't have that many, but whenever I buy mugs for my coffee drinking, I try to buy, buy some funny stuff. So I have a few, few different ones. And I, I really like this one for the handle, the, the creativeness of making the rocket taking off as the handle. It's just that one got to me. Had to have it. I'm glad you like it.
Oh, a grave. I'm not convinced that this clicking thingy is faster than doing the other basic clicking. Pointy shoes and peasant shoes have the exact same stats. No! Pointy shoes have more durability. Which makes them slightly better. <laughs> sure. For real this time. No more restarting today. Please. I'm still kind of wounded here. This way, over here, there. Here. Throw a thing at him. Didn't work, oh well. Okay. Nice, he didn't even hit me. Okay, good stuff. If you found a bear pelt in the town, you can complete the tailor's task even if it's stolen. Sure. Is that a question? Yes, you can. But I don't think I've ever found a bear pelt in town. Sure, I'm sure it could happen. You have to get away with stealing it though. Which is tricky. I love that I threw my shoes at him and it totally worked. Wasn't sure it would. Um, leaf forest. What is this? No, it's all the forest. Huh. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Is it just me? The trees here seem kind of different, but it might just be because of the night time on the map. Huh. Three lockpicks. And we have found an enemy. Oh, okay. Uh, there. Oh, he got me. Okay. Ah, he's out of ammo. Good. Oh, oh, and I, 
I'm wounded. God damn it. All right. Uh, let me fix that. Not great. No. Oh. I'm so dumb. I wanted to run around and heal, but I should have stepped here, not there. All right. We might not survive this. Is this guy coming to say hi to? No, good. Let us uh, retreat a bit. I'm not playing very well right now. We gotta do better. I also need to figure out what to put my skill point into. We're gonna get this right on target. But then what? I'm I guess I am sort of I have sort of decided that I want to go swords. So we should just get a sword skill to help right now. Uh swords durability deteriorates lower. If the equipped sword durability is 50%, 75% or more, it gets extra weapon damage, crit chance, and crit efficiency. Hmm. Okay. Keeping distance retreats a tile back. If the next turn the empty tile is occupied by an enemy performs an attack with extra ch stacker and bleed chance oh really and then the cleaving strike with cooldown 8 but this one has cooldown 6 I like that keeping distance thing your shoes are ruined yeah I know we found them in a grave but they are still providing the full bonus here so it's fine and we'll repair them when we get back to town. Start our new arrow collection here. Drink some water, because I forgot. Another archer. I want him to shoot through the bed. Yeah, so we are we're in cover behind the bed right now. Good. And he's out of ammo. Nice. Uh, we will move here. Now throw stuff at him so that he's not in cover. Oh, okay. Yeah. If next turn the empty tile is occupied by an enemy, so I would need to make sure that they walk into the tile that I was in for. All right. I haven't done single-handed swords in forever either, so this is honestly pretty good. Oh, a better bow. And it's not broken, so we can use it right away. The ability can be hard to trigger at times. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I didn't think of that. I'm sure I can make it work. It's just about position, positioning correctly. Found a trap. enemy I shouldn't use ammo on him this type of character is uh, fairly easy to beat so let's see so he 
does that, then we retreat. There. Nice. And that gives us a fairly good bleed chance, which by itself is super powerful. Yeah, sometimes they will spend a turn to, to stop the bleeding, which is also worth something. This is not ideal. I did not see him coming. Oh, he disarmed the trap right away. Okay. So that means I can run now. Because spear guys, like this one, the pitchfork guy, is pretty... They can be dangerous. So... I would like to heal a bit more, but now I won't be able to get away further. Okay, so we can get one more tile. Yeah. And we didn't recover more health. Okay. So we have one turn to do a thing. Throw something at him, I guess. And we failed. Okay. Uh, in order to use the retreat thing, I need to be, like, here. No, that was not good. Crap. Oh, we got a lucky. Good. Then throw something at him. Nice. And then do the retreat thing here. Good. Everyone. Okay. I was a little bit worried there, but we made it through. And now we get a spear that we can throw at people. Nice. Spear. Nice, 11. Very good. The thing about, I mean, this, the attack that the Keeping Distance does is not that great, but you also, you get two attacks in a row where they can't counter because you're using that turn to step away from them then they engage and then we get the free strike so that's why i went off with that one over the other one which is a better attack but doesn't get you the same benefit of avoiding an attack those kinds of abilities are always really powerful Ready. I would really like that leg injury to go away soon. <laughs> Patience is a young man's game. Then why am I playing it? Oh, self burn. Uh, let me get the bow out and pick the lock in this case. Okay, and we got unlucky. Okay, sitting right on the other side. Got him. Three arrows, okay. Throw the spear. Nothing. All right. All right, so you run skull gold, and thank you for stopping by. I love your memes. 
Skoko shares a lot of memes in my Discord channel, which is nice. Yeah, the spear, the spear throwing animation. I haven't even acknowledged it, but it's it's obviously silly. Yeah, he just throws the spear sideways. Grab the rabbit pill because it's one of the better loot items we've found, so that the ladle too. Oh and we found a copper ring. Ah, but we've already equipped a copper ring. Okay. Yeah. Uh and the battle cleaver. The battle cleaver. Eat that. Kind of don't want to bring back the spear. Oh, we can do another rhubarb, of course. And there. I hope there's a kitchen in this dungeon here. Because we are low on water. Oh, and a homemade sword also for the quest. Another red pelt. Okay. And here's the kitchen. Nice. But there's no water barrel here. Dang it. And there's another floor of the dungeon. Great. I didn't check for traps. Oh no, 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 I misclicked. Or I didn't, but I clicked on a piece, a thing on the floor, wasting a turn. Two turns, because I pick up a thing and then I need to spend another turn to throw the thing again. Lord. Oh, and we're gonna be out of water now. Okay. Here's what we do. We are going to go back to town and do a loot run. And get some water. So anything that we want to bring back to town for sure. Homemade sword, for example, for the quest. Good enough. Uh, so I can do one more. These things are not worth any money. It doesn't really matter. Just do that one. Sure, go. I don't like doing loot runs, but now we can use the water in this as an excuse. We are heading 
the right direction. Which would be obvious since if I'm walking where I've already walked, like we are right now, then it'll lead me back to town. Pretty obvious. after right on target finisher uh, can I beat a wolf well we are about to find out as long as it's only one wolf I'll try and it is okay so far so bad Um, I need to position myself so that we can get the, uh, the the keeping distance bonus. But I also don't want it to dash. So I think you go here. Yes. Will it dash up here? I don't know. It didn't. What else can we throw? Nice. It made me bleed. How are we doing? 57. I think I kill it first. And then we stop the bleeding. This may backfire. But I'm getting lucky. Stop the bleeding. Good stuff. Skin it. Oh, we got the pelt. All right. Uh, instead of this. Nice. Hola, beta. How am I doing? How are you doing? I'm doing great. I've had a, a rough start of the stream for my builds here. I've died so many times, but otherwise, in, in real life, we're doing fine. This is the one, though. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, I was trying out some silly builds that didn't work. And I'm sort of disappointed in that. But what can you do? A rocky start because the stone shard. Uh huh. Gotta turn in the quest here. Oh, the damage thing update, right. right the thing is, hurry, make uh, <laughs> uh I love seeing your guys' names. It's one of the best parts of streaming. Anyway, um, the, the thing is that it the, the damage numbers changing also affects the enemies. That's the thing with a lot of the stuff in when you update things in Stone Shard. You gotta think that all the updates that apply to the player, I think that they also apply to the the uh, enemies. I'm not 100% sure about this because I don't know how they construct the enemies, but this, they, they are, the general theme of Stone Shard is that everything applies to everyone. So I'm fairly sure that it also applies to the enemies. Although not 100%. Uh, the pelts go in here. Uh, 
and we might want to buy something better honestly before I start repairing like the traveling shoes are not that expensive what about this cape here traveling cape two percent more dodge chance and fortitude five percent sure Then repair the rest. A pebble of a pun. You got more? Now I'm trying to think of stone puns, but I can't actually come up with anything. buy identification scrolls early on and stockpile them a bit because we always end up needing uh, identification scrolls later so let me just stockpile one here early on silver nugget for 18 i feel like we can do better oh, these are not worth a lot i thought they would be worth more seven for a cold chunk huh silver nugget for 18 really ah, 18 and six, okay. Two. This is why I don't like doing loot runs like we made. Oh, they are worth less here, huh? We made very, very little money from this. Got the water. We have lock picks. Oh, I didn't repair the sword. And I can't afford to repair the armor yet. that nagging feeling that I am forgetting something. But I don't know what 